Today we're going to be learning my version of Carol of the Bells. First thing you're going to need is a five string banjo and some finger picks. And the first step of learning to play Carol of the Bells is tuning our banjo from G major tuning to G minor. Now all that means is we're taking the B string and tuning it from B down to A sharp. And that gives the banjo a really minor sort of sound already. Let's get started. The opening of the version of Carol of Bells that you just heard is really easy for banjo. I'm going to start by playing the G string with my thumb, then the D string, low D, fretted at the third fret with my thumb, then the D string fretted at the first fret with my thumb, and then the D string open with my thumb. We've got two, you could do two rotations of this, you could do four rotations of this, or you could start with the next part, um, but this was the way that I chose to do it. If you don't have uh, instruments accompanying you, it probably would be best to just do this twice. And the next part is the main little roll that we're going to be using. It's actually really easy. The first thing that I'm, I'm hitting is the B string, now tuned to A sharp, with my pointer finger. Then I'm hitting the G string with my thumb fretted at the second fret. Then the A sharp again. And then the G string with my thumb open. At this point, it might be good to take a little break and go ahead and get that down because we're doing it a lot. We're going to be adding the melody to that roll later. So it may be good to go ahead and get that part under your belt. As I mentioned before, the song begins with these four descending notes. You can repeat that two times or four times. And then we begin the roll that I just taught you. We're going to repeat it four times like I did there. Then we add the high D string. So now instead of beginning that roll by just hitting the A sharp with my pointer finger, I'm going to be hitting both of them. So it sounds like this. So we went from The next step is for us to incorporate the descending scale that we played at the beginning of the song into our little roll. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and move that descending scale to the corresponding notes on the high D string. For each one of those notes, we're going to be repeating the roll. Here's how we do that. Start by plucking the high D string and the A sharp string together with the high D string fretted at the fifth fret. Then go ahead and hit the G string fret at the second fret the A sharp string open, and the G string open. Then repeat the same thing with the high D string fretted at the third fret. Then with the high D string fretted at the first fret. And then open. You'll do that twice. Then we have one that's a little bit different, similar but different. Alright, so you begin with the descending scale. Then back to the high D string fret at the first fret. Then open. Then the A sharp string fretted at the second fret and no high D string. A sharp string fretted at the second fret, G string fretted at the second fret, 
A sharp string open, G string open, and then back to the normal, then back to the normal lick. And now you don't want to do what I did in my original recording and do this. Instead, do this because if you include that high D string. Well, it's a note that doesn't belong in the chord. Now, onto the final building block of the song. Begin with the same descending scale we've been playing. Except you're hitting the high D string at the fifth fret a few more times. Now you may notice that little flourish that I'm doing. That's just a forward roll on one string. A uh, banjo player called Jens Kruger does it a lot and better than I do, but I think it's nice. So the same descending scale, then the A sharp string at the second fret. Open, 2nd fret, then high D string open, A sharp string 2nd fret, A sharp string open, then back to the normal lick. Now the lower part of the melody. That is the low D string open. 2nd fret, 4th fret, G string open, 2nd fret, then A sharp string open, 2nd fret, then high D string open, then A sharp 2nd fret, A sharp string open, then back to all together we have so you do repeat that twice you can also do that in octave high if you'd like To simplify that, I'm doing this instead of this at the end there. Um, you can do it either way. If you wanted to do that, you could. And that is all the building blocks that you need to play the song as I did on the banjo in the recording.